What do we want from a dash camera? Good footage, seamless operation, easy to use functions, possibly parking monitoring, and this all is well covered by the Vantrue N1 Pro. Interested in seeing more? Let's go! Let me start clarifying that if you're looking for an AI-powered dash cam or something with Wi-Fi, a smartphone app and so on, this is not part of the feature set of Vantrue N1 Pro. The brand Vantrue is popular for offering very high quality and high grade dash cams, and this has always been the case. Although even referred as one of the many Chinese products, it is remarkable to see the quality of the packaging the arrangement of the things inside, even the user guide and the rest of the papers. It is world-class presentation even for a model which is not the top of their portfolio. In a matter of fact, the priced at 79 US dollars N1 Pro is at the moment the cheapest and most basic Vantrue device. It packs decent hardware and also some features that I was eagerly waiting to test because they are known from a few other very mainstream models. You already got a feeling of what's inside the box, gonna once again highlight that unboxing Vantrue devices is perhaps the nicest unboxing experience with dash cams I've ever had, and you can clearly see that it's not just the box, the build quality and the overall design of the little DVR is excellent. Plastic design, but that doesn't mean it feels cheap, not at all. Here is the charger, and notice that it is mini USB based and not micro as it is the trend lately. Also, it doesn't offer an additional USB port, and in my case this is a type of a charger I'd prefer not to use. Lately we can see more and more dash cams to be equipped with a charger providing an additional USB port, and that comes very handy, especially for older vehicles where the sound system has no USB integration. So that's an improvement remark for Vantrue for their next model. And to avoid unwanted cables, just install a hardwire kit. A few words about what's inside this tiny box in terms of hardware. There's the Sony IMX323, a 2.20 megapixel sensor known for delivering excellent quality and used by two other very popular models, the Xiaomi-backed 70Mi and the Blue Sky C B1W. Both of them have no display or button navigation, however. The processor inside is very capable and much better than the already mentioned other models. It is the Novatec 96658. There also is a 160-degree field of view with a 6-layer glass lens and a 130 milliamp hour battery. Yes, there is a lithium-ion battery, and in the past years there have been a lot of precautions taken so that these batteries are safe and almost impossible to explode or fail. Vantrue promised the battery will work fine between minus 20 and 70 degrees Celsius, and that is remarkable. Means that it's fine using this dash cam even in the hottest areas on the planet. And the availability of a battery underlines the budget-oriented solution. There is now the clear trend more premium dash cams to arrive with a super capacitor instead of a battery. Well, both of these options have good and bad sides. Having a battery enables you to take advantage of parking mode without having to install a hardwire kit. The capacity will last for up to 20 minutes, and if the environment around your vehicle is not too dynamic, it may last for a few hours if recordings occur every 10 to 20 minutes. Vantrue also have thought about the availability of your car's battery. The parking monitor lasts for no more than 24 hours. And if you have your vehicle unattended for a prolonged period of time, this is going to prevent a discharge of the car's battery. A feature we naturally expect to see with most dash cams but somehow gets implemented on too few models. I like a lot the configuration options, and inside me there still is the conflict. Which of both is better? A non-smart dash cam with a display and buttons? Or a discrete solution controlled via smartphone? 
Maybe old school is still my preference. And perhaps this is why I liked a lot the way Vantru N1 Pro is being configured. The chipset used has a framework similar to the menus of the action cameras, and it was pretty easy to configure everything. Not that there is too much to adjust, the video settings are limited to exposure and resolution, both 720p and 1080p are supported, you can configure the length of the chunks, the appearance of the date and time, and a few other little nice-to-haves. The GIST sensor sensitivity is also good to pay attention to, as this is the measurement the dashcam uses for deciding whether a video should be marked as emergency or not. Emergency videos are placed in a special folder and are not being automatically deleted when the SD card is full, assuming that they represent a scene of an accident. Better reduce the G-sensor sensitivity if you drive down a bumpy road, otherwise many of the videos will be marked as emergency. The strongest point of this dashcam is the size of the supported micro SD card. I need to take a breath here. 256 gigabytes, almost a week of non-stop footage. On the funny side, at the time making this video, the cheapest 256 gig cards cost around half of the price of the N1 Pro. As for the video quality, I've intentionally postponed this conversation for the end. Sharp, a little oversaturated and adding a lot of detail, I think it is very good for a 1080p camera and will certainly do the job right in any kind of conditions. The capabilities at night are also something to highlight. I keep on repeating that for good low-light footage you should go with less megapixels. And the aperture of f by 1.8 helps a lot to add more light to your footage. I'll let you watch a bit more of these recordings, and in the meanwhile, think about how do you like it? Before hopping to the next video, use the comment section to let me know if your opinion about the overall quality and performance, and also, what size of micro SD do you use right now on your smartphone or dash camera, and which model that is? Also, should you want to get the Vantru N1 Pro, check the description for a discount coupon. For any questions or ideas, you already know how to get in touch. Have fun, enjoy life, drive safely and see you soon!